Hi everyone, a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are fine. I hope I'm audible and visible right now. Yes, okay. Is it? Hi Ritu, hello Sagar, Aditi, Swati, Ganesh. Follow me, Itisha. Okay, and Rishika. Sagar, Pani bhi ke, Pani bhi ke aagay aap. <laughs> Same pinch. I hope like to kar diya agar. Number of likes and number of live people are not matching right now. Number of live people are more, but number of likes are less. Why so? I want to know. Hi Sunita, hi Adiba, Samiksha, Preeti. Very good evening. Hi Sagar, follow me, Zeba. Everybody has liked. Okay, so let's get started with our today's lesson. My name is Neharika Bhaktani and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to do the second session. Second session of paper one examination question on this channel. Yesterday, if someone has not attended, you can go back to this channel and you can see uh, 6 p.m. we have done. You can even check out the playlist. Uh, I have created a separate playlist for paper one examination question. March 2023. Okay. Hats be That's great. Good afternoon, Shweta. Hi. Okay. Dosto ko bula liya. That's so sweet. That's so nice. So, uh, isi baat pe, let's start the awesome blossom session. And one very important thing for today, that today you definitely need some pen and paper. So, let's have a good starting with your mathematical reasoning today. Okay, so please start. Please uh, take out your pen and paper and we will solve the questions all together. Okay. That's great. Hi, Saket. Okay. That's great. Okay, so let's get started. In a certain code language, Odo Pado Fao means order packed food. Pado Fao Sa Digo means packed, means Packed food is good. Digo Yao Mao means good young man. Yao Mao Sasito means young man is strong. You have to decode that what is the meaning of order and strong. So let's start it together. For a beginning, like here, this question is I don't know how they have given so easy question, but still, let me do according to the rules. Okay, I have just, I have just rearrange these sentences like odo pao fao is order packed food pado fao sa digo is packed food is good so i've written like this now what we will do we will just highlight we'll just highlight the common common things that is packed food and pado fao packed food and pado fao that is common in both these sentences right next one you can see in the second sentence and in the fourth sentence you can see the word sa and is, sa and is, is common. Next, you can see yao mao, young man, yao mao, young man is common. So, what things are left? Only order, order means odo and strong means sito. That is there, that is left. So, you can definitely do order means odo and sito means strong. This is the, like this time NTA, I don't know how they have given so easy. But in, but whenever India will give such question, you have to arrange like this and you have to mark the common things. Very good evening, Ankita. Okay, done. Done. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Let me see. You all have given correct answer. Those who have not clicked on the like button of this video, please do it. Now, so Odo and Sito are the correct answer given by Arshia, Adiba, Twinkle, Swati, Rishika. Samiksha, Ganesh, Itisha, Chanmukha, yes, Chweta, Ritu, Polumi, Sagar and Preeti. Seems like others are feeling shy in writing or maybe scared in writing the answer. Don't get shy. Either you will be right or you will be wrong. Luckily, NTA do not have any negative marking. Now, let's see. In a competitive examination held in a year 2000, a total number of Mm -mm -mm. A total number of 6 lakh 
students appeared and 40,000 passed in the examination. 40% of the total students were female and the rest were males. The pass percentage among the females were 50%. Find the pass percentage among the females. Shall we start together? Sharmanika Naik, yes. Shall we start together? Yes, this question. Awesome. Swati has given correct answer. Very nice. Ganesh also. Ganesh has given first. Not even tried. Ah, uh -uh, this this is pretty simple. Let me. Uh, we'll just start it, and you'll automatically get the answer. We'll do that. Tukka. Tukka was A. Was it A? Oh, Tukka was C. Okay. So Rishika has given correct. Samiksha correct. Let's see. Chalo. Uh, Sharma. We'll start the question together. Whatever I'll be writing, you will be. Whatever I'll be displaying, you will be also writing in the notes. So what is the first sentence? First sentence is written. In a competitive examination, carefully see, hey, no? everyone, in a competitive examination held in the year 2000, a total number of 6 lakhs, 6 lakh, okay, students appeared, appeared. So, let's create this 6 lakh, 6 lakh students actually appeared, okay, 6 lakh appeared. Now, out of them, 40% passed the examination, can you see? I, I hope you can see my marking or where my arrow is going. Okay, you can see out of that 6 lakh, 40% passed the examination. So, can I say that out of this 6 lakh, 40% passed, that means uh, here 40% will be passed and 60% will be failed. That means 2 lakh 40,000 are passed and 3 lakh 60,000 is failed. Okay, so 2 lakh 40,000 is passed because 40% is passed. Okay. And 60% got failed. Now, here 40% of the total students were female. Now, if we take the total students 6 lakhs, so out of them, if we say that 40% were female, then 60% were male, okay, 40% female, so 60% are actually male, okay, male, so that is 3 lakh 60,000, okay. Now, the pass percentage among the males were 50%. Now, see carefully. From here, the story begins. That is, out of all the males, out of all the males, how many males actually cleared? Can you see 180,000 here? Wait. Um, I think now you can see, right? 180,000, they actually cleared. You can see that is 50% of the males actually cleared okay so pass percentage among the males were 50 percentage i hope that is visible yeah that is visible okay now so out of all the past out of all the past that is 2 lakh 40 thousand if 1 lakh 40 1 lakh 80 thousand are the male then how many are the female just 60 thousand correct only 60 thousand are the female so now if 60000 are female then total female are 240000 that means 60 divided by 240000 okay in 200 that is 1 by 4 which is 1 and 25 percentage done visible okay done this was pretty easy i think this was pretty easy if you have understood and not clicked on the like button yet, please click on the like button of this video. Done? Okay. So many people are enjoying their Friday today. Okay. Now see. Next. Question. What number should replace question mark in the following series? Four lakh fifty thousand. Sorry, four fifty. Achha, okay, the numbers are. Let me show you the numbers. Would you like to try the question? The numbers are four fifty, four seventy three, five one nine, five eight eight, six eighty, and seven nine five. Now you're realizing. Okay. Yes, itna hi karna tha. Okay, but in calculation got messed up. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Seems like so much glitch in the video.
please try this one i'm sure the numbers are increasing very very slowly right the numbers are increasing slowly so what you have to do max to max you just have to add add subtract okay awesome okay so you are saying option a let's see how this option a is coming let's see so since the numbers are in increasing order that means you just have to find out the difference between the second number and the fourth number so basically 450 plus 23 is equal to 473 so 473 plus 23 plus 23 is equal to 519 then 519 plus 23 plus 23 plus 23 is equal to 588 then here plus 23 plus 23 plus 23 plus 23 that is 680 then 5 times it will be 795 so basically 6 times if you will add that will be then. here you are saying first written 40 percent Deku, i think you are saying this one isn't it see the students appeared and 40 percent actually passed the examination so see one category is one six lakh ka category is that out of six lakh total only 40 percent pass the examination that means two lakh forty total pass the examination okay now 40 percent of the total students were female ye yaha pe maine 40 percent create kya ki out of all the six lakh 40 percent were female to 60 percent were male okay then i said that the pass percentage among males were 50 percent so definitely so up in males ka 50 percent yani ki 1 lakh 80 thousand ye 1 lakh out of total passed 1 lakh 80 thousand he males the they all were male okay so remaining kitne bache out of 2 lakh 40 thousand if 1 lakh 80 thousand are male then how many are female that is 60 thousand animation skill awesome thank you so much okay okay so i think ritu if you'll read it one more time ma'am whole is 40 240 whole is 40 to 40 ka 50 hum nahi karenge nahi 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 i am not getting your question see students appeared 40 percent to passed ab isme se 40 percent are male or female nahi hai 40% are passed and plus jo total students hai usme se 40% female hai aur 60% male hai coming uh, yeah okay let me uh, let me try on the screen hmm. getting it i think now it should be fine Now clear? Okay. Okay. 100 ka 40 percent hai. Now, see. So, this we have done. Again, ek aur bar aap isko question ko read karke dekhna. Acha. <laughs> okay. Now, businessman buys a house for 9 lakh. He puts a house on rent and keeps 15% of each month's rent separately for repairs. After paying 2106 as annual taxes on the rent, he realizes 10% annually on his investment. Find the monthly rent of the house. Okay. Shall I start? Shall we start together? You've done? Awesome. Ye bhi nahi tha. <laughs> Ye to simple on a simple This is not even a paper one question. This is like a commerce question. Commerce like income and income tax that kind of question or you can even relate it with finance as well as income tax That's why this was kept in commerce paper one awesome 
तो ट्वेंटी फोर सी ओके ट्वेंटी फोर सी गणेश करेक्ट समीक्षा करेक्ट ओके एंड अच्छा लेट लेट मी राइट लेट मी डू इट प्लीज सी बिजनेस मैन बाईज अ हाउस फॉर नाइन लैख रुपीज ओके तो बेसिकली ही बाईज तो वॉट इज योर आंसर एवरी वन प्लीज टेल मी वॉट आर योर आंसर्स ही बाईज अ हाउस फॉर नाइन लैख रुपीज ही पुट्स द हाउस ऑन रेंट वॉट्स द रेंट वॉट शुड अ राइट फॉर रेंट आई डोंट नो द रेंट कैन आई कैन आई राइट इट एज एक्स एक्स इज द लेट द रेंट बी एक्स ओके रेंट इनकम इज वॉट एक्स नाउ आउट ऑफ दिस एक्स अमाउंट ना ही इज कीपिंग दैट फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ ईच मंथ रेंट सेपरेटली फॉर द रिपेयर दैट मीन्स जितना भी पैसा मिला वॉट एवर मनी वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दैट at least 15% of what of the rent 15% of x he is keeping he is keeping separately ki yes ye to kharcha ho jayega this will be the expense for repairs this will be the expense for the repairs now how much is left only 85% of the rent is left now out of this also he is paying what after paying 2106 as the annual taxes on the rent matlab he is paying the taxes also मतलब अब राइट नाउ वॉट इज लेफ्ट इन हिज हैंड आई डोंट नो वॉट इज लेफ्ट इन हिज हैंड प्लीज सी ही रियलाइज टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टेन परसेंट एन्युअली ऑन हिज इन्वेस्टमेंट तो दिस वॉज द इन्वेस्टमेंट नाइन लैख का टेन परसेंट कितना होता है वॉट्स द टेन परसेंट ऑफ नाइन लैख दैट इज नाइंटी थाउजेंड दैट्स इट यू जस्ट हैव टू सॉल्व द इक्वेशन ओके तो बेसिकली एक्स एक्स इज गिवन X is given minus fifteen percent will be your expense uh, for repairs and minus taxes you have to pay and remaining what is left only ten percent of the annual investment is left so just keep on solving it come on come on let's solve it this is can I say this is point eight five x is equal to nine uh two one Zero six, yes. Okay. So now x will be equal to what? Nine two one zero six divided by eighty five into hundred. Now, but now you know what? This is your, this is your annual amount. I don't. The the question is not asking your annual amount. Anyways, question ko dekhe lag raha hai that if I'll just divide it by eighty five percent. then i'll reach very near by to 90000 only but the options are giving me very near to 10000 9000 9000 and 9000 and all that so basically the question is asking us the monthly rent that means whatever calculation we have done that is annually you can see this is um, ha huh, this all is annually so if i divide this with a number 12 then it will be monthly then okay then you will get monthly come on लेट स्टार्ट प्लेइंग स्लैश स्लैश है ना तो एक बार स्लैश स्लैश करें ओके सो दिस इज फाइव के टेबल में सेवनटीन टाइम्स दिस इज ट्वेंटी टाइम्स स्कूल नाउ आई एम श्योर दिस विल गो विद द सेवनटीन टेबल दैट इज दिस शुड बी फाइव टाइम्स एंड फोर वन एट ओके वन टू ट्वेंटी टेबल्स यू हैव लर्न ओके now this is 6 this is 10 now this will be i'm sure this should be 903 i'm not even calculating this should be 903 since we have already marked the answer so 903 into 10 will be equal to 9030 then getting it 9030 ओके कमिंग एस सी ओके नेक्स्ट वन द सम ऑफ थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ऑड नंबर्स एंड द थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव इवन नंबर्स टूगेदर इज टू थर्टी वन द सम ऑफ थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ऑड नंबर्स बट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग अहेड प्लीज सी वॉट यू हैव टू राइट द सम ऑफ थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ऑड नंबर्स and three consecutive even numbers together is 231 okay now acha three consecutive odd numbers 
can i write let the odd number b x okay now i don't know what's the odd number suppose suppose if the odd number is 11 then should i do 11 plus 1 that will be my next odd number or 11 plus 2 that will be my next odd number plus 2 na plus 2 okay okay plus 2 so basically first odd number is x so next odd number will be x plus 2 next odd number will be x plus 4 right okay yeah dekho those who are saying x x plus 1 x plus 3 mm -mm. aap khud karke dekho please solve yourself that is if you do x suppose x is 11 so x plus 1 will be 12 that will be wrong hai na isliye x x plus 2 will be 13 and x plus 4 that is 11 plus 4 will be what 15 similarly if your even number is x imagine then Suppose your even number is what? Uh, 4. Or suppose it is 6. Now please tell me. That x plus 1 will be the next even number or x plus 2 will be the next even number? Don't you think again x plus 2 will be your even number? That is it will be 8. Then x plus 4 will be the next even, even number. That will be 10. So the even number will be also x, x plus 2 and x plus 4 plus 2 with that logic. But now. Let's find out the link between these two. Also, please see, also the smallest odd number is 11 less than the smallest even number. Basically, we have two options. Either we can go with a big or complicated way ki ek odd ko rakhe x and even ko rakhe y. Ya fir straight away we can create a link between them. That is odd and even. Uh, beach mein, what's the difference between the odd and even? Odd and even, that is 11. That is 11. Okay, so uh, if you want a big method, you can go for big method. Chalo, I'll go for the big method. That might be a little bit easy for you. Suppose if the even number is y. Okay. Now, the difference between the odd and even number is what? 11. That means, can I say that y is 11 bigger than x? That means, x plus 11. That will be equal to y. Hey na? x plus 11 equal to y. Because the difference between the smallest odd and uh, the smallest even is what? 11. So, y, that is the smallest even number, will be x plus 11. Okay, that means if I write this odd number ka series plus the even number ka series, I'm directly writing x plus 11 plus x plus 13 plus x plus 15. That all, if you do all these six numbers plus, that will be 231. Okay, now just keep on solving it. Now come on, quickly solve it. Hope you have understood. Now add them all. So this will be 6x plus you add huh, x 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and add the numbers that is 11 plus 15 plus 13 plus 2 plus 4. That will be equal to 45. Okay, equal to 231. Hmm. Okay. Next, Chanmuka, have you understood x plus 11? If x plus 11 is the even number, then what will be the next even number? x plus 13? Because x plus 11 plus 2 or if you want to do, I'll, I'll do with a big method also. That if the even number is y, first even number is y. Next even number will be y plus 2. Next even number will be y plus 4. Instead of y, I am writing x plus 11. So that means x plus 11 plus 2 is actually equal to x plus 13. And this x plus 11 plus 4, that is equal to x plus 15. Okay, 45 is coming. Now, quickly do. x is equal to 231 minus 45 divided by 6. 
that will be equal to 186 divided by 6. So x is coming what? 31. x is 31. You've reached this. What is the question? Question is, what is the sum? Question is, what is the sum of the largest odd number and the largest even number? Please tell me what is the largest odd number and what is the largest even number? Superb, superb. Pretty simple. Now pretty simple. That is the largest odd number is, it is 31 plus 4 and the even number is 31 plus 15. You add them all, this will be 9, 10, 11. The last number is ending with 1. Only this number is ending with 1. This is your answer. Okay, or you can even do that. Addition. Okay, that's it. Simple. Okay, 31 coming. Okay, so got it. Everyone got it? Okay, now quickly, which one of the following acronyms matches incorrectly with their full form? Actually, to be very honest, I feel so sad that NTA has given little bit problem in option A also. Option A should be automated teller machine, but they have given automatic teller machine. That's why most of the people have clicked on option A. But it's not tough. Tough nahi hai, Tisha. I feel isme sirf, uh, basically isme koi percentage to put karni nahi hai. Na hi profit or loss find karna hai. Na hi calendar ka formula hai. Na ki distance speed uh, hai. Na hi blood relation hai. Or na hi boat and stream hai. So, what do we need to do? odd and even to add to Think like that. So, for NTA, this was an okay kind of question. That is odd and even go. You just have to try in your examination. You have to try to add the odd and even. This is not This is not question. Haan. Option is C. And option is C. It's not global positioning sensor. It is the global positioning system. That's why option C is the correct answer. Then, aage kaise solve karenge? Hmm. See, if you'll practice with me paper 1, continuously, okay, constantly, then maybe it will be more and more improved. Definitely, it will be more and more improved. With practice, you will improve more. But the only condition is that all the learners should attend the class. Now, abhi kitne sare learners chutti leke bas bethe hoye That's it. Now, the browser requests the, I think if you detect the first option only, then, then this is giving you correct answer, closest answer. Okay. Global positioning system. Yes. GP uh, Ankita, that's the GPS. GPS which we use on the maps to find the current location, which was actually developed 45 years ago, but we got to know very recently after having the smartphones. Very nice. B, hundred percent B. That's it. Tell me one thing. The browser request kya? Those who are saying, see, tell me one thing, the browser will request the, the signal. <laughs> no, na. The browser will request the browser. No, na. The browser will request the certificate. No. The browser will request the web server. That's it. You know, now everything is making sense. Please see. The browser will request the web server sorry, web server and to identify itself by providing its certificate. This is sent to check the performance to see if it is authentic. If it is, if it is authentic, then the browser sends a signal back to the web server and the data transmission begins. Okay. Now, 
AI is an artificially created environment used to give a feeling of being there, whereas virtual reality learns from changing circumstances. Aapka GPS wala sahi tha, that's great. Exactly, server sahi ho gaya, correct. For this question, B, awesome. B is the correct answer because unlike dot matrix, inkjet printer, laser printer, do not use ink when producing documents. That's wrong. Uh, yes, I remember in the plus class, we had done one question and after that we corrected that question also. So um, that is laser printer definitely use the dry ink. They use the dry ink. Okay. So please see, you might have definitely seen the laser printer. This cartridge remove karne se pura hath mein ink ink ho jati hai. We feel so much ink in our hands. Okay. We get so, so much inky hands, black hands. Now, see, the laser printer use toner cartridges. This is the toner which we use to change, we, which we actually change in our office so many times. Printer toner, which is a powder based ink. So, Obviously, the laser beam is there, but the ink is powder based. Okay, it is made of it is made of fine plastic particles, carbon black, and other coloring agents that you can see. Okay, next one you can see. Huh. Hi, Steffi. Okay, wish you a very very happy birthday, Steffi. God bless you, dear, and wish you a lot lot of success happiness and party hard today question which of the following are the main benefits of networking computer devices rather than using a number of standalone computers Very nice. Option D is the correct answer. Superb, superb. How come D? Because see, this cannot be the advantage. Can we even think that option C can be an advantage? Users cannot fire, share the file and the data. This cannot be the advantage, right? Now, disk fragmenter, disk formatter, device driver, SSD. Quickly give me correct answer. C is negative point, correct. Quickly give me correct answer for this particular question. This fragmenter, this formatter, device driver, SSD. SSD say only I think you can match storage, storage media with no moving parts. Okay, that's the shortest explanation. What's that storage media? Storage media. What's that? Option B. Very nice. So SSD is what? Storage media with no moving parts. We have done in plus class. An academy plus class. This defragmenter. This you can match. Utility that recognizes the sector on the hard disk. It can be stored on contiguous data blocks. Formatter is what? That allows the data files to be stored and retrieved. Then driver is what? Driver is software that communicates. Communicate driver will communicate with the OS ki jana kaha hai. Okay. And then it will tell okay ki jana kaha pe hai. And what things has to be executed. Now, which of the following is measured in Dobson unit? DU. DU. HTT hai laptop mein slow chalta hai. <laughs> Try SSD in the next laptop, obviously. 
B, 100% correct. Good guess. D, stratospheric ozone. The Dobson unit is a unit measurement for the ozone in column. Basically, it, it measures the thickness of the ozone. You can see area covered by column. See here, if it is this O3, area covered by this column here, 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 here. We can take one column. All ozone over a certain area is, is compressed down to 0 degree and 1 atm pressure, 1 atomic pressure. It forms a slab of 3 mm thick, corresponds to 300 du. So that measures what? Next question, please write. It measures what? The thickness of the ozone. Like 3 mm thick is there, so 300 du. December wal exam mein. Yes. Dobson ka ozone ya tha? Yes, exactly. Because ye PYQs may bhi tha. Now, photoelectrochemical PEC solar cells are based on. Seems like we are not doing people environment. We are doing some class. Some school ka class. Photoelectrochemical. Is that photoelectrochemical? Remember cathode, anode, and so on. Wo, wo, PEC. Those are based on what? For only inorganic semiconductors, organic crystal silicon, or structure in organic semiconductors and electrolyte. Electrolyte se yade taza ho gayi? Yes. Hai na? So I'm sure you have seen this. I'm sure you have seen this in your school. That is photoelectronic. Sorry, photovoltaic cell and photoelectrochemical cell. So anode, cathode, diode, and um, photoanode, and then cathode. These these are there. So let's see. So I'm just reading out for you. That is the photoelectrochemical cell is based on junction between a semiconductor and an electrolyte. Generally, it is generally liquid. As you can see, it's liquid containing a suitable redox couple. The so next time, see this time, NTA has asked this one. Next time, they can definitely ask that whether it is gaseous, solid or liquid. So, it is generally liquid. Please write it. Please write it. Okay. Because PYQs actually play a very, very important role. Now, containing a suitable redox couple. These are the two types of cells used for energy uh, conversion that is photoelectrochemical, photovoltaic cell, and photoelectrosynthetic cell. This is uh, people development and environment. People development and environment energy that is um, electricity, energy, all of that. Now, this is also from PD Montreal Protocol. Rio Summit, Kyoto Protocol, Paris Agreement. <laughs> Physics ka commerce mein diya. True words, Itisha, I felt the same. And like, yeah, kya kar rahe ho? Biotech, A, biotech, everything you have included. 33A, super, super easy, super easy. I guess if you take the latest one, Paris Agreement, which was in 2015, that is directly giving you answer instead of going on first, second and third point. You can directly select this and your answer is pretty clear. Option A. Remaining, Monsoon in Kyoto, Yatha. Very nice. Dusre bhi please yaad kar lo. I am reading for you. Monsoon, that is Montreal, that is 1987. Rio, 1992. Rio bhi yaad tha aapko. Jhoot mat bolo, jhoot mat bolo. Rio summit, first one was 1992 in Johannesburg. Then after that, 2002. Then after that, 2012. Tino aapko yaad the. Jhoot nahi bolna, ha? <laughs> Kyoto protocol, that is 1997, the latest one. And the Paris agreement, uh, nahi, ye latest one, eh? that is 2015. Yaad tha, great. Thermal expansion of the ocean may lead to This PD question ko dekhe kuch hui. Achha? Nahi, nahi. Ye wala bhi to achha hai. Like what's harm in this? Thermal expansion of the ocean. If the, if the ocean will expand. 
I was thinking of putting some picture, but then <laughs> I was almost running out of time. यहाँ पे रियो यात्रा भी कर दिया. Oh ho, Aditi, कोई बात नहीं. हाँ. अरे, अरे, अरे. Okay. Shan Mukha has given correct answer. Zeba has also given correct. Adiba, Lisa, and Samiksha. Ankita correct. Aditi correct. मुझे बताओ. If thermal expansion of ओशन होगा अगर ओशन एक्सपैंड करेगा ओशन बबल्स एक्सपैंड करेंगे तो क्या होगा वॉट विल हैपन ओशन बबल्स विल एक्सपैंड ओके एंड थोड़ा सा सी लेवल राइस नहीं हो जाएगा आपको नहीं लगता है कि सी ओके अगर डी एंड सी में से कंफ्यूज है सपोज इफ यू आर कंफ्यूज ओशन इज हियर राइट ओशन वाटर इज एक्चुअली रनिंग योर एंड मुझे बताओ टेल मी वन थिंग एंड योर दिस इज वॉट दिस इज योर माउंटेन राइट ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दिस माउंटेन यू हैव ग्लेशियर नाउ टेल मी वन थिंग अगर ओशन वाटर एक्सपांड हो रहा है तो उससे उस उसकी वजह से कैसे ग्लेशियल डाउन होगी एनी लिंक उल्टा नहीं बोल दिया डोंट यू थिंक दैट्स एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट दैट इज इफ द ग्लेशियल वाटर इफ देर इज मेल्टिंग ऑफ ग्लेशियर्स देन इट मे देन इट मे इंक्रीज द सी लेवल ओके बट If the thermal expansion of ocean is there, if the water is getting heat up, heat up, how the how the cyclones and all that arise? If the uh, water inside it heats up, then it rises up, it expands, and ultimately that sea level goes up and up and up. Yeah, galat socha na, and jis jis ne bhi bhi kiya hoga socho. Thank God humans do not check the paper. अगर किसी ने बी सोचा होगा कहाँ से लाए होंगे I don't know. Okay. Now, waste stabilization. D and C were very close, but you have to think, you have to imagine, then you have to give answer. Now, waste stabilization points. Why I feel like we have done this concept? Waste stabilization. अच्छा in one of the PYQs. Yes. Yes, we have done. These points are what? Mainly. Oxidization ponds used to remove pathogen and organic contents. Natural treatment system because it will stabilize the waste in the water. Okay, okay, because it will stabilize the waste in the water. Okay, but they are extremely quick. Quick in what? In dancing and stabilizing what? Okay, most efficient in extremely cold weather. अच्छा ऐसे कैसे मतलब What's the link of the cold weather and efficiency of the waste stabilization? No, nothing, nothing. Okay, there is no link. Okay, so definitely the answer will be option A. Super. Samiksha, Itisha, and Aja. You can see the picture behind me. I'm sure you can see the picture behind me. Um, I'll be aside instead of this B kind of. background you can see the picture see waste will stabilize so now this will ha huh, this will clear this much pond if this will clear this much pond and waste will go inside then o2 will have more space to get settled so that uh, organic bacteria and algae and sunlight and and um again decomposers other bacterias they can start uh, other microorganisms they can start their functioning okay so again it will naturally clean basically the microorganisms will start eating the inorganic waste and the compound and then in the presence of sunlight and oxygen okay oxygen now they will use up the oxygen they will eat more and more and more remember that pacman that will eat more and more and more it will utilize more oxygen and then it will clear the water the 
top of the water okay that is so that's why it is what natural treatment system it is used to remove the pathogen and organic contents it mainly ox these are mainly oxidation bonds because now oxygen can be um, can be there inside the water okay because it has space to keep the oxygen remaining debris remaining waste remaining in organic kya bolte base satav that is there at the at the bottom of the pond yeah batman and this is natural or this is waste stabilization ponds sometimes it is uh, human made sometimes i think so as far as i remember i've seen three pictures on that so i feel there are three kinds of stabilization ponds okay but still you need to do some google research on that now see the governor of the state is the chancellor of the higher education ko dekh ke kis kis ka dil khush hua kitne easy question the yes the governor of the state is the chancellor of the deem university acha oh is it acha the deem university can design their own syllabus and course work what do you think correct 36 first this falls this we have never done we have never studied and the and second one is perfectly correct correct okay next one what is the full form of diksha yes chancellor sponsor set karte hain correct what's the full form of diksha digital infrastructure digital information or digital institute or digital institution infrastructure very nice shanmukha correct ritu correct lisa correct infrastructure for knowledge sharing 38 that is which one of the following are the key ingredients of the quality in service teacher training whichever are the positive points just select that 38 come on sab theek hai very nice must na super awesome question preparation of training materials preparation of training needs development of appropriations curriculum modules and assessment of the impact and the outcome of the training all good next 39 this is also super easy that is according to nep 2020 more heis higher education institutions shall be established and developed in an in unreserved regions to ensure full awesome access equity inclusion this is also there okay next 40 which of the following recommendations were put forward by university education commission appointed after independence by the indian government concerning medical education in india just select the positive points because see this is directly not given in your uh, material and this was never asked previously in your pyqs so you just have to be smart and select the positive points again for question number 40 you can see kon kon se recommendations diye gaye the kon kon se recommendation diye gaye the medical colleges should admit a maximum number of 100 students okay history of medicine with special reference to indian system should be taught in the first degree of course in medicine more important should be attached in public health engineering and nursing there should be provision of 10 beds per student admitted in the medical college can you reject any of the option can you reject any of the option no it's d simple it's d a b c d all are correct can, do you have a proof that 
that you can reject any of the option in commerce shift 2 we didn't get good questions in here okay is it we'll discuss that too don't worry about it are uh, see why not public health engineering and nursing why you are not selecting that why you are not selecting it should provision of 10 beds per student admitted in the medical college hmm sab sahi hai koi reject nahi kar sakte okay so don't doubt since this was a totally new question nta will not give any database kind of aise question ab dekho ab this time this was there in your pyq so next time nta can give you a database kind of question ki instead of 10 beds if they give you 20 beds or instead of 100 student if they write 1000 students or 2000 students then it will be very valid point yes humne to bata diya ye bhi aane wala tha thoda sa in detail and it was there so they might test on this that's why just write these two points in your notebook otherwise this time since it was introduced for the very first time then when the questions are introduced for the very first time they are the easy ones okay they are the easy ones a b c d all of the above okay yes no idea about it please will chance of a no 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 very specific mm -mm. why to do that see only in the case of assertion and reason you have to think that ritu ki assertion and reason mein whenever you put the word limiting words like only and uh, you know only or always that is a kind of very specific or restricting word otherwise here yahan pe to you cannot you do not have any proof to reject the data okay wala hai yes yes dinesh okay so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day don't forget to click on the like button of this video quickly click on the like button of this video quickly right now and don't forget to join the telegram channel if you are not there and uh, all the new learners please join the telegram channel the link of my all my profiles and social media are given in the description of this video so don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, to stay updated and uh, please share the link with your friends too seems like many of the learners are on leave today so please share the link with your friends too with whom you talk daily at least you can share the link okay so that we can continue this series whenever possible okay so I, on on academy plus i'm teaching accountancy and auditing as well as teaching aptitude from first may i am starting banking and financial institution only on an academy plus that will be on 11 am to 1230 pm and 3 pm to 430 pm So if you are not on plus please join an academy plus by using my referral code nix28 that is given here nix28 if you join an academy plus till 30 april that is only till day after tomorrow then you will get 25% discount and after that that offer will expire all these courses have already completed if you join an academy sorry telegram channel you will got you will get links of all these lessons and you will get the recorded sessions of all these lessons that i have recently completed so just make sure to use my referral code nix28 again the subscription link is given in the description of this video don't forget to follow me on an academy okay so uh, this offer is there just till 30 april bye bye book अच्छा सागर ने इतिशा को बुलाई अच्छा वो घूम रही थी इन सब ओके अच्छा ओके तब ये किसको शेयर करे ना ओके ठीक है सो दीज आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ एन अकेडमी प्लस यू कैन रीड इट एंड दैट्स इट बाय बाय थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे बाय हैप्पी वीकेंड सी